example three, find all points on the graph of f of x equals the cube root of x squared minus 1 squared for which the derivative of f of x equals 0 and those for which the f of, for the derivative of f of x doesn't exist. All right, so the first thing we need to do, we need to find the derivative of this function. Okay, and typically in calculus, you're going to write functions in, ex, in exponent form. So I can rewrite this as x squared minus 1 to the 2 thirds power. Okay? And then this would be a composition of functions. Alright? Alright, instead of calling this f of x, let's let's refer to this as being y, just so it's less confusing when we're talking about um, the rule, which is the derivative of f of g of x with respect to x is going to be equal to f prime of g of x times g prime of x. Okay. So hopefully you can see here that this function is inside the power function. So this function is inside, and this function is outside. So let's take a look. Let's label g of x as x squared minus 1. And that is being plugged into f of x, which is x to the 2 thirds power. So now let's try to find the derivative here. We'll call this y prime. And um, so first of all, we'll take the derivative of this and we're going to do the power rule. Right, so this would be 2 thirds times x squared minus 1. And 2 thirds minus 1 would be negative 1 third. Right? So that's this part here. And then we have to take the derivative of what's inside here. So that would be g prime of x. So this is going to be 2x. And if I simplify this a little bit, this is going to be 4x um, over 3 times x squared minus 1 to the negative 1 third power. Or I can write this as 4x all over 3 x squared minus 1 to the 1 third power. Right? And remember, this is really f prime of x. I called it y in the beginning, just so I wouldn't get confused with the rule here. Okay, so we want to find out all the points. We want to find out all the x values that make f prime of x equals a 0. Well, all I have to do is take f prime of x, which is this, and set it equal to 0. So I'm going to do 4x all over 3 times x squared minus 1 to the 1 third power equals 0. The only time that this expression here would equal 0 would be when x equals 0. For when the numerator is equal to 0, this whole thing would be equal to 0. Also, we want to figure out when 
the derivative of this function does not exist. So again, if you look at f prime of x, or the derivative of f of x, here it is. The, and you can think of this as being um, x minus 1, x plus 1. Okay. And the derivative, f prime of x, does not exist when, notice here, when x is equal to 1 and when x is equal to negative 1. Because that would make the denominator undefined, which would tell us when the x values of f prime of x does not exist. So there's example 5. Let's take a look at example 7. The derivative of f of x equals x squared times the square root of 1 minus x squared. So let's write it this way. Okay. This rule is going to start off as the product rule. The yellow function multiplied by the function in blue. So f prime of x equals, it's going to be the first, and that's the first, times the derivative of the second. Well, the derivative of the second, this is going to be the chain rule. Okay, so it's going to be one half and the power rule to start, 1 half, 1 minus x squared. you got to take 1 half minus 1, which would be negative 1 half. And then you got to take the derivative of what's inside here, which would be negative 2x. So let's try to simplify this. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. It's the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Okay, so now I've done the product rule. Inside the product rule, we had to do the chain rule. So now let's simplify here. Okay, so first of all, let's multiply 1 half times negative 2x. So 1 half times negative 2x, that's going to be negative x. Those are going to cancel out. 1 minus x squared to the negative 1 half power plus 2x times 1 minus x squared to the 1 half power. So I just took 2x, put it in front. Okay. Next, I can multiply here. So this is going to be negative x cubed, 1 minus x squared, to the negative 1 half power, plus 2x, 1 minus x squared, to the 1 half power. Alright, so now there's a trick here to factor this, to get this um, even nicer. We can make this look a lot nicer. We're going to factor out the power of least degree. So here are our powers. Notice that these are the same. Okay? So I'm going to factor out, I'm going to factor out 1 minus x squared to the negative 1 half power. I'm always going to factor out the power with least degree. Okay? Also, notice here and there, I can factor out a negative x. Okay. 
So now, out of this first one, if I factor out a negative x, I'm going to be left with x squared. If I factor this whole thing out of here, that just becomes 1. I just factor the whole thing out. Okay. And then I go over here. So now, if I factor out negative x out of 2x, I'm going to be left with negative 2. And if I factor out 1 minus x squared to the negative 1 half, if I factor that out of 1 minus x squared to the 1 half, look at it this way. If I factor out 1 minus x squared to the negative 1 half, when you divide like bases, these bases are the same, you subtract the exponents. So 1 half minus negative 1 half would be 1. So this is going to be 1 minus x squared. Okay, so now let's write this as negative x. 1 minus x squared to the negative 1 half power. x squared, and I'm going to distribute the 2, so this would be negative 2 plus 2x squared. Then I've got like terms here. So this would become 3x squared minus 2. And then the only other thing that I could do, I could um, make this negative x times 3x squared minus 2 all over. Since this is a negative exponent, I'll make this 1 minus x squared to the negative 1 half power. So you can see here when you factor out the power of least degree, um, you can go quite a bit further, and you can you can make this this function this expression much simpler.